Prince William has caught a group of students by surprise, making a random call to one of them. A TikTok video of the exchange shows the heir to the throne chatting with the pupils who are gathered around during their lunch break. The Prince of Wales asks the youngsters whether they are doing any work during the surprise call to which they all reply, no, and start to laugh. William then pokes fun at the baking skills of one of the pupils' mums, saying, your mum is feeding me her cakes. They're not very good. I told her she wouldn't win Bake Off. The person who posted the clip explained William made the impromptu call while at a friend's mum's workplace. One TikTok user expressed their surprise at the call, commenting, I am so intrigued to know why the future King of England decided to FaceTime some kids. Countdown is on. Three months until King's coronation, everything we know so far King Charles' coronation will take place in three months' time, on Saturday May 6, at Westminster Abbey in London, where he will be crowned alongside his Queen Consort, Camilla. It will be the first time Britain has held such an event since Queen Elizabeth II was crowned in June 1953. Express.co.uk reveals everything we know so far ahead of this historic occasion. Another user of the platform said, Seems like a lovely, normal guy. News of the call comes after it was announced the Prince and Princess of Wales are to attend the upcoming BAFTA Film Awards for the first time in three years. William has been the president of BAFTA since 2010. He and Kate will watch the ceremony at the Royal Festival Hall on February 19 before meeting the winners and Rising Star Award nominees. Read about fears Nicola Bully's phone was a decoy The royal couple last attended the event in person in 2020 with the prince last year recording a video message in which he congratulated those nominated and praised BAFTA's work. Nominations for the 2023 ceremony were announced last month, with Netflix anti-war epic All Quiet on the Western Front leading the pack with 14 recommendations. The movie, directed by German filmmaker Edward Berger and based on the 1929 novel of the same name by Eric Maria Remarque, has received nods for gongs including Best Film, Best Director and Best Film Not in the English Language. Martin McDonough's The Banshees of Inna Shurin and Daniel Kwan and Daniel Shun Ertz Everything Everywhere All at Once follow closely behind with 10 nominations each. Both films have also received nominations for Best Film, with Baz Luhrmann's Elvis and Todd Field's Star rounding off the five strong list. The Banshees of Inna Shurin has also earned Irish actor Colin Farrell his first BAFTA film nomination in the leading actor category, for his role in the black comedy drama in which he stars alongside Brendan Gleeson. However, Farrell faces stiff competition for the leading actor award as he is joined in the category by Austin Butler for Elvis, Brendan Fraser for The Whale, Paul Mescal for After Sun, Bill Nye for Living and Daryl McCormack for Good Luck to You, Leo Grand. The leading actress prize will also be hotly contested as the nominations include Kate Blanchett for Tar, Viola Davis for The Woman King, Michelle Yeoh for Everything Everywhere All at Once, Damon Thompson for Good Love to You, Leo Grand, Anna de Armas for Blonde and Danielle Deadweiler for Till. It was announced on Thursday that Mercury Prize winner Little Sims will also perform at the event. This year the ceremony will move to the South Bank Centre's Royal Festival Hall from its previous location of the Royal Albert Hall, which had hosted the awards show since 2017. Actor Richard E. Grant will host the 76th Annual Film Awards Ceremony while TV presenter Alison Hammond will helm the BAFTA studio, an immersive and access all areas experience, as part of the BBC One show.
For the first time the final four awards of the show will be announced live on the night, allowing audiences to experience the winners in real time. The 2023 eBAFTA Film Awards will be broadcast live on BBC One on Sunday, February 19 at 7 p.m. Melting